afternoon everybody i hope that you are well my name is christiane and welcome to my channel backpacking bananas i am currently backpacking solo around thailand right now this very second i am on a ferry pier in the little town of Ao Nang, Ao Nang, Ao Nang, uh, near Krabi, and I'm about to get one of these long tail boats to Riley Beach, which is gonna be my last destination of this whole trip. That's sad, isn't it? But I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to the next three days. I feel like I just really, really want to make the most of it. This morning, my friend Sean and I traveled from Kolipe. We got a speedboat to the Pak Barra Pier, then we got a bus to Krabi and then we got like one of those little outdoor taxis to the Ao Nang Pier. Yeah, now we're about to get a long tail boat to Rayleigh. So it's a long journey. Uh, the whole thing is costing, well, so far it's costed us 1,200 baht and then we're just paying an extra 100 baht for this long tail boat to Rayleigh. So we're waiting for it to depart now and without further ado, let's get going. Here we are! Welcome to Rayleigh, ladies and gentlemen. They've dropped us off on Rayleigh East Beach. There's a Rayleigh East and there's a Rayleigh West. And you've got to know where you're being dropped off because that will obviously determine where you're going to be walking to your accommodation. But apparently, according to Sean, Rayleigh East is the good side, which means that we're not going to be doing much walking to our accommodation. Here we go, Blanco. From what I've heard, Blanco is the only hostel in the whole of Rayleigh. And so obviously I wanted to stay and check it out. I did hear about these steps though. Okay, I've arrived in my room. I think I've got a 10 bed dorm. This is 270 baht per night. There's a fan on at the moment, but you do have air con that gets switched on later. And it does have an ensuite as well. I've really lucked out with a bottom bunk. I don't know why I just had this bad feeling I was gonna get a top bunk here. Cause I was just like, it will just be typical. It's my last like place that I'm coming to in Thailand. But no, I've got bottom bunk. Obviously, yeah, there's no one here in my room at the moment, but apparently everyone goes to West Beach for sunset and it's 5.30 right now. So sunset's in like an hour. I think I'm gonna get in my swimmers and maybe go to the pool, see if I can sort of meet some people. Maybe we'll go to the sunset. But also I know I've got Sean, um, my friend, who's pretty close by on the island as well in a different accommodation. So yeah, I'm just gonna unpack a little bit, drop my bags and just, yeah, get myself a little bit sorted. It's his dad on the drums. It's his dad on the drums, bro. <laughs> Dad's on the drums now. Very <laughs> just taking over. Are you ready? Everybody. It's a new day in Rayleigh. I'm here with Sean and we just had breakfast at Summer Fresh, which is your favourite breakfast place, here, right? Yeah. And it was delish. It is. I've got an avo toast, got a nice caramel latte, basically transporting myself into Australia before I'm actually there. Considered going climbing this morning, but we had a little bit of a wild one last night. It was really good fun. I met a YouTuber called Retired What Retired Working for You. His name is Chris and he makes video, he's like based in Koh Samui and he makes videos all of Thailand. Let me know below if you know who he who he is. I didn't, but he's got over 200,000 subscribers. Fantastic. We love to see YouTubers meeting up together. It's all a good time, especially when it's not planned. But anyway, that's why we didn't go climbing this morning, but hoping to go climbing this afternoon. But right now, just having a little walk through the town and I really want to buy a bandana. I feel like this hair needs to be tamed somehow and I think a bandana is the way to do it. What can we find? Oh, we could go for a flower clip. Hmm. Bandana, 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 bandana. Oh, I see the bandanas. Bandana. Yeah, I can see the bandanas. This is so cool. This is all natural. Yeah, all natural. So where are we heading to, Sean? 
Penang Beach? Oh, okay, so this leads to the climb to the lagoon, which I want to do, if not tomorrow, the day after. <laughs> we're doing it, we're doing the climb to the lagoon. As you may have noticed, there's no vehicles in Rayleigh. It's even smaller than Colipe and everyone just walks around everywhere. It doesn't really take you longer than 10 minutes to walk from one side to the other, which is very, very nice. Do not go up after dark. Is that, is this the start? This is it, Mama. Ah. Come on, look at that. Come over here, take a look, take a peek this way. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I like that. Get ready for it. Yeah. We'll come back here in a couple of days. We're going to be hiking to the lagoon. It's exciting. Oh, wow. I'll let you guys try and figure out what this is before I tell you. You may be wondering, what are all of these things? And yes, it's exactly what you're thinking. This is the famous penis cave. You, wait, what, what was the story again? Because I forget. A woman once upon a time from around here that had this indescribable beauty and no man would ever take a chance on her because she was that stunning. These are all offerings. <laughs> Member offerings. Just massive dildo she, structures. Yeah, she, uh, apparently she died a virgin because no man would ever pursue her because of her indescribable beauty. Wow, well, wow. Well. What what a cave. That's a lot of penises. That's a lot of penises. It's <laughs> a lot of offerings. So let's try. Let's try and wrap a bandana, shall we? I bought this uh, just in a local store for 100 baht. So what you do is you kind of fold it up. Yeah. And then you come around. Yeah. Oh, over the top of the yeah. hair. Oh, okay. And then this one's kind of short, so what you could do is go like this. I mean, I do have a small head. Okay. But this is the before, the mess that my hair is before. So, like this. Yeah, and then you tie, uh, you basically just tie it. Can I not go under, or is I that? Would, I, you could do that as well. <laughs> That's kind of cute, so messy. It's good. That's quite cute, isn't it? Yeah. I wouldn't say that my hair is any less of a mess, but I have given it a little bit of style, at least. <laughs> it shows that I've put a little bit of thought into it. Yep. Here we go. Here's the end of backpacking trick. Look, with the bandana. Fun times. I got more burnt yesterday than I was planning on getting. No, not yesterday. Today, this morning, not that I was planning on getting burnt at all, but you know, sometimes the sun is just mega strong. I was really wanting a tan, didn't quite put the, my, the right amount of sun cream on, and now I'm a burnt banana. So I just got some very overpriced aloe vera, I paid 250 baht for this, and I'm sitting on Rayleigh West Beach, which is where everyone comes for sunset. I'm a little bit early, because the sun doesn't set for like another hour, but I imagine this beach is about to fill up a lot. Yeah, it's just been a super chill day. Just got myself a fresh coconut, always good for hydration. This cost 60 baht from somewhere down the way. Hey, look who it is. It's another vlogger, one who I met last night. <laughs> We have a YouTuber here. Before. We have a YouTuber here. What's your channel? Backpacking Bananas. What's your Back channel? Backpacking Bananas. I'm retired working for you. <laughs> Look at them. This is life right here. These guys. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's another day in Riley Beach. I'm with my friends. We've got Maria, we have Julian, we have Sean, and we are about to go climb the infamous Riley Beach Lagoon, which according to Sean is very, very, very difficult. So we're dressed in our absolute sporty gear. I've got the trainers on and everything. We'll see, we'll see how difficult it really is. Can you guys see the iguana? Have any of you seen that episode of That's So Raven where she's like partying with an iguana? Hi, buddy. Oh, look at Hello. you. I don't think I've ever been this close to an iguana. This trail is strenuous, muddy and slippery when wet. Not recommended after rain. Do not go up after dark. Yeah, it does say danger, don't go. All right, lead the way, Sean. Off we go. This is a 
photo opportunity. Yeah, but we can no, see that's, that's yeah, yeah. Rayleigh yeah, yeah. West, I think, out there, and this is Rayleigh East. Very nice. This is beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. So nice. Such an iconic Thailand view as well. So this is where it gets hard, apparently, and we got to. We're going down, so we got to go backwards. Oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah, so for context, um, I met Maria literally just in the hostel dorm this morning and uh, she asked what I was doing today. I said this and here we are all together. And that's how you make friends whilst you're backpacking. <laughs> this is where it gets real steep. Just oh, this really is, young. yeah, this is where, sorry guys, it was nice to know <laughs> you. <laughs> here comes Maria. This shot actually shows how steep it is. So it's it's a proper a proper little lab sale here. So that's the lagoon there, but we've got to go this way. Is this a little bit uh Ow. Oh careful. Oh that your funny bone that was. Oh no one's laughing. Oh <laughs> This, ladies and gentlemen, is the lagoon. So nice. If you've been to this lagoon before in non-COVID times, tell me in the comments what your experience was like. Was there a lot more people here? Because if right now there's like just a few of us. Okay, we completed it. That was so, so much fun. I really enjoyed the climbing. Yes, it was challenging, but like a good challenge, a fun challenge. Definitely wear good shoes if you're gonna do that hike. Don't do it barefoot, don't do it in flip-flops. Like, you really want a decent pair of shoes. Wear your swimmers if you wanna go swimming in the lagoon. Don't have like a bag that just comes over your shoulder. Either have a bum bag or a backpack and just something which like is easy for you to climb with. Bring some water. But the whole thing took us from start to finish, including our stops at the viewpoint and our stops at the lagoon and stuff, one hour 45 to go there and back and stop. So yeah, it's less than a two hour excursion. Super, super worth it. And what is it? You have to go in the middle of the day, right? Yeah, we, you, you wanna go when the tide is high. And that's because... always in the middle of the day at like mm -hmm. noon. So we were a little bit late, so there wasn't so much water in the lagoon. Still enough to take a dip, but in an ideal world, we would have gone, what, an hour or two earlier than that. But now we're heading back to the same beach we came yesterday, Penang Beach, because it's arguably the most beautiful and it's quite close to the start slash finish point of the lagoon hike. What colors do you have? I like this. This is nice. And... You want two color? Two colors. Two color and, 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 and me? Yes. Oh, two oh. color, 100 baht. Oh, okay, no, no problem. Okay. That's okay. Uh, this color and shoe. What do you think my other color should be? Blue. I'm gonna do this blue. The lilac or the pink? The lilac or, yeah, or, the, pink. or the pink? The pink? Yeah. Yeah, pink. Oh, you're randomly getting a braid. I know, but you know what? I was saying to my friends, I always, always get a braid on a backpacking trip. Like it's just yeah. like a tradition that I have with myself. I just always get a hair braid and I haven't done it yet on this trip and obviously I'm leaving tomorrow. And so it'd been on my mind. And then yeah, I just I was just passing by this place and the, they do hair braids. Here you are, getting a braid. Yeah, so I think normally I get it like done under here. Yeah, I know, it's super fast. Oh my god, so quick. Yeah, oh, it's cool, isn't it? Woohoo! <laughs> Coming So I got myself a hair braid, which is like my own little tradition when I come on any backpacking trip. I always like to come away with a hair braid. And yeah, it's like, oh, I see a monkey. Oh, I see three monkeys, four monkeys. Sorry, I got distracted by the monkeys. Yeah, I always like to come away with a hair braid and it's my last day in Thailand and I, that is exactly what I am coming away with. This cost 100 baht because I chose two colors. If I just had one color, it would have just cost 50 baht. 
pretty pretty good and she did it so fast as well yeah it was literally I got braided in about three minutes it was super super quick now I am getting ready to go out for the evening the sun is gonna be setting quite shortly and I was gonna have a shower but annoyingly literally every shower in the hostel is broken like the, the water is just not working so I've just stuck on a bunch of deodorant and some clean clothes and hoping no one's gonna smell me too much I feel sweaty though I do feel sweaty but stay la vie last day in Thailand hopefully the showers work tomorrow before my flight to Bangkok can you see the monkeys down there and there's a couple in the tree over here can you see there's a little baby ones just jumping around in the trees and there's one I don't know if you can see, there's one just there. And there's a couple on there. I just realized I haven't shown you around all of this hostel. So let's do that right now. So here's the reception area. And we're at a viewpoint looking out on this gorgeous view. Like I said, there was just monkeys down there. You've got the kind of cafe common area down there. And then you walk up these stairs up to the pool area so there is a pool there there's a bar there and then this is just really nice chill out chill out area with a view very very nice there's so many monkeys oh my goodness oh that's so cute i can't believe how many there are this is so cool Oh no, he's peeing! Oh, no. <laughs> you can't be directly under them. There's more, there's more, there's more coming. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Stop it! Oh, baby. I have genuinely never seen so many monkeys in my life. This is so, so, so cool. They're just literally just roaming around in the wild, just living their best life and we just get to see it. It's very cool. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this pool table is massive. Good morning, everyone. It's the last morning in Riley Beach and like my last morning of this entire trip so we're gonna make it count this morning i am going rock climbing but not like the rock climbing we did yesterday this is like an official thing with harnesses and shoes and a helmet and a tour guide and everything it's something that's very popular to do here in Rayleigh. it's the place to go climbing i booked it last night whilst we were on the kind of riley strip sean has left now i said goodbye to him this morning he left at like 7 a.m because he's off to the full moon party in copan yang this evening and then I packed my bag because the checkout is at 11 o'clock of this hostel but my tour I don't think I'm gonna get back till like 12 o'clock so I needed to pack my bag take the bags out of the room and just put it in luggage storage and then obviously I'll go pick them up later but I'm flying out of Krabby today at like 20 past 9 this evening so I've got the whole day to enjoy in Riley Beach and uh, across more towards Rayleigh West which is where the tour people are, but I'm quite early, uh, which is good because I want to get myself a coffee and maybe a little bite to eat. Morning. Morning. Good. How are you? Good. Can I have ice latte with caramel? Yes. Kapunka. Kapunka. They always do a great job. But they also know my order now. <laughs> I feel like such a local, such a shame that I'm leaving today. This is who I'm going with, Riley, rock climbing. Every single day I would walk past here and um, they would say hello. And so I knew I wanted to climb with these guys. I'm doing the morning half day climbing and it's costing me 1000 baht from 9 a.m to 12 30 p.m they luckily had a helmet which had a um, attachment which i could stick my gopro on top of that's fabulous we're gonna get all the angles okay this looks like the spot okay that's where we're going i guess Sandy feet, so it's not going to be so comfortable to put these on. Yeah. And they said no socks. Go on, Julie. Next up, we've got Carolina. Off she goes. Next up, we've got Daniel. 
And finally, representing Brazil, we've got Dino! Yeah. Okay, I'm up next. I'm gonna switch the GoPro on. Here we go? Okay. That was fun. I always think it's a little bit harder than what it looks like, but when you're up there and you're trying to grip on, it's like, ah! But I think that was just like the kind of practice run. They're just testing us out and then I think, I don't know, but I'm assuming we're gonna go on these higher ones next. Up next, Julie's going first, and we are heading up here. That's hard. Look at that. that I am not anticipating this to be easy at all. Carolina from Brazil is up next. You got this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the worried eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. I am up next. I am heading up there. <laughs> This bit's hard. My legs were shaking as I went up there and you may have seen on the GoPro at one point I did fail. <laughs> I just came off and at that point, you know, if you're not attached on you would die, which is why it's good to have a harness, but it's good fun. Amazing views at the top as well and you feel very accomplished because, you know, you've climbed up there a difficult route. We, as far as I'm aware, have finished the rock climbing, but we are finishing off the tour with a rappel and so they've taken us to my favourite beach in this Riley area, the Pranang Beach. Absolutely iconic. And I do not know where we are going to be rappelling down from, but I guess they're gonna leave us there. I just love this beach. This view is insane, isn't it? <laughs> so we're now walking through a little bit of a jungle and it looks like we're about to start a bit of a climb. I feel a bit like a Teletubby with this GoPro just sticking up the, uh, the top of my helmet. We have to do hiking, okay? No problem. How high? How high? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> no problem. Oh, he's got up there. This is insane. Wow. Okay, so let's follow him up there. I would have won trainers if I knew. Take a rest here? Okay. I think there's a little viewpoint at the end of here. Oh wow. That is nice. I was really not expecting this kind of adventure from this trip. So beautiful, I love it. So we are walking through a cave. 
it's very dark. We're just using the lights on our phones and it's just a, a constant climb up. Okay, look at the viewpoint we've come out to. Wowza, that is amazing. Wow. You want me to go down here? Yeah, oh boy. Just lean back. First just thing, just lean. Lean now? Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you want me to put my climbing shoes on? Or? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I didn't oh. know. <laughs> yeah, lean back. All right. Walk out, walk out. Okay. Walk down. Uh, more, more, more. Uh, put your right foot, you see, on the, on the, see the one on the right. Ah, okay. Okay, out. okay. One more. Okay. One more. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Should we try a jumping one? No, no, no. No, no jump. Okay. Not okay. now. Okay. <laughs> Not now. Okay. okay. I want to jump. I want to jump. <laughs> it's hard. But then I'm gonna go. Then I'm gonna go into the cave. <laughs> and I'm down. I'm the first one down. And I think that's the end of the tour. Well, I mean, we've got to walk back to where we came from, but um. How good, how fun. This just tour has been so unexpected. I just thought we were gonna be climbing a few of what we were climbing before. I did not realize that we were gonna be walking through a cave in the darkness and rappelling in front of this amazing view. It's been fantastic. Highly, highly recommend. Here come the girls. You've got Julie being lowered down there. And then Carolina's up there. She's doing the rappel herself. Good on you, girl. Yes, well done, Julie. You. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> Cheers! Well done, everyone. Well deserved here. Bye, bye, Rainy. Hope to see you again. I am no longer in Riley. I am in the Novotel Hotel in Bangkok Airport because I was feeling bougie. That is the end of the Riley vlog and it's the end of the Thailand backpacking series. What a journey it's been. I'm not gonna get into being all nostalgic in this video because I want to make a whole video talking about my trip because it's been amazing and I'm also going to make videos like a travel guide of backpacking Thailand and how much I spent. Don't worry, all those videos are to come. But as for right now, I'm going to end the vlog here. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I've got to say, Riley could potentially be my favourite place in Thailand. I think I said the same about Khao Sok. Khao Sok and Riley and Koh Tao. Oh, and Koh Panyang. Yeah, they're all my favourites. What a time. Riley was amazing. The climbing this morning was incredible and also the guys who I met on the little trip excursion that we did was so, so nice. I went out for lunch with them. I would have loved to have hung out with them this evening, but obviously I had my flight to Bangkok. I had a flight to Australia tomorrow. So that's it for me. I'm done. I'm not quite sure what else to say in this vlog. I feel like there's so much that I want to say, but like I said, I'm gonna make an entire video on it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.